Hi there, this is the pickling day today. I'm using the cold pack method and this uh, method uh, came from Linda Cinema's uh, channel and uh, I just basically copied exactly what she did in her um, video which I will put a link to so this is based on her her video and uh, this is the first time I've tried it so we will see how it works thanks for watching hi there we're pickling dill we're doing a dill pickle batch today using the cold pack method which is new to me but then again pickling is new to me so um, we've got the we have, I have four of the market more cucumbers that are uh, seeded and ready I've got some with skins on and some without the skins and I've got some onion and some cloves of garlic and some dill and we're all set up I've got my brine solution ready I've got my lids uh, boiled sterilized and I've got this is where I'm going to put my jars now this doesn't use a water bath so what this relies on is the jars are in the oven here and the oven is at 215 and that's enough to sterilize them so I will bring a jar over to here from the oven with my tongs, jar lifter, and uh, then I will add the pickles and the dill weed and a slice of uh, onion and a clove of garlic and pack them as much as I can get and add the solution to fill the jar and then put the jar with the lid on, take the lid out, put the lid on the jar, having wiped the top and put them over here to cool and they should seal. The heat from the oven will be enough, if I'm quick enough, that uh, it will seal. This is called the cold pack method, so it doesn't require a water bath. So this is kind of involved and it's the first time I've done it, so I'll get back to you when I've done a jar or I'm just about ready to put a lid on. I'll be back. There we go, I just did just enough do with that batch. I'm going to have to make another batch of the uh, uh, brine. Um, so that had just enough to do two jars and that was two jars with the skins on. So I have another, well, I probably will have just two jars with the skins off. So four jars in total from pretty much four cucumbers. So but they were fairly big cucumbers anyway that's where I'm just going to put the lid on I've got to do this fairly quickly I would suggest that you need enough brine solution to make sure you get half inch from the top so it's probably better to have more than less um, this one I didn't quite have enough so I topped it up with a little bit of vinegar cider vinegar um, just to get it to half inch within the top so Right, that's where I'm at. Still got two more to do, but now I have to make another batch of uh, the brine because I've used that all up for two jars. Um, that batch was two cups of apple cider vinegar, two cups of water, and a quarter of a cup of salt. So I will make, make the same amount again, and hopefully that will get me my two, last two jars. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll come back with the end result. So this is the uh, end result of my last four Market More cucumbers. Two with skins on, two without. Um, I'm not sure whether this is going to work for me because I was very, I wasn't quick enough probably. Um, getting the uh, jars packed and getting the lids on I think it requires 
that to be done fairly quickly for the lids to seal so that you've got the heat from the boiling uh, brine um, to help drive the air out. So none of these have popped yet and I've just finished the last two jars so I don't know. I have a feeling that they won't pop but I will get back to you if they do. So maybe using them quicker than anticipated but at least it's only four jars so they can go in the refrigerator and be used if they don't seal properly as long as they're not stored for any length of time I'm sure they're fine so anyway that's where we're at uh, I'll get back if, if they do pop 